Hey guys, welcome into the shipping container darkroom. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I won't be shooting outside in the nature or developing dry plates in the darkroom. But instead I'm gonna be opening up this mysterious package that I got. The package was sent to me by a very friendly guy from Paris, France. He has been watching my videos and following my blog posts and um, he contacted me on social media and told me that he might have something for me. As far as I know he's a collector of old photographic materials and obviously we've been talking with each other and to be honest I have a slight idea what might be in this package but I'm just as excited to open it up so yeah let's go I don't know where to start opening I will just cut here oh. Oh my, there's more packages inside. I'm gonna take out all of them for now. I believe there are some um, either books or boxes, it's quite heavy. This one is also very very firm and this one is quite light maybe this one is a book or I, I have no idea I will open this one up first oh that's amazing in the first one I opened, I don't know if you can see here, there are vintage film holders right here. What? Well, there is still film loaded inside this one here. And on the other side as well. But this one, this film has been exposed before me already. Yeah. There are some parts missing, as you can see, there is a flap missing here. But yeah, it's amazing because they are made out of wood completely. Just this dark slide is plastic, otherwise it's all wood. I think they're gonna come in handy. I'm for sure not gonna modify them for, for dry plates. But right now I'm just designing um, my very own dry plate holder that's going to be 3D printable. Um, so yeah, I'm happy of all the designs I find. They come in handy. Okay, let's put this one aside. While I'm opening these packages up, I just remember that many of you have been asking me what's my real name because I uh, usually present myself under the name, under the brand name, which is Lost Light Art. My real name is uh, Nates, it's spelled N-A-J-C. The people who are living in the States or are English speaking um, usually call me Nate because it's much easier for them to pronounce I am 25 years old, I um, am just finishing my master's on um, Academy of Fine Arts here in the capital of Slovenia. Uh, so yeah, I'm very busy studying, making these videos of course, um, and in my free time I'm, I'm um, coating and sending out the dry plates, making emotions, designing new things, so yeah, I, I always have a... Uh, plan in my mind for the next thing, next thing I'm gonna do so. At the moment I'm just printing out a custom designed lens storage box that I also sell on Etsy. Looks like this is 3D printable and it uh, really keeps your lens safe. I'm, as you know, I'm a lot, I'm on the field a lot and um, being able to, to, to store the lens like this it's really convenient because I often bump my, my backpack into rocks and whatnot. And I'll open this one now. This one is really, really heavy. I 
it's thick, quite thick. What? No way! Yesterday I've just been, oh my god, I'm shaking. I don't know if you can see here. Just yesterday I've been looking through these old boxes for, for dry plates. And I've been watching this one specially in, in detail and it's amazing. This is starting to feel like the second Christmas for me. As far as I can see from the cover right here, the box was made by um, Lumiere Brothers. I've been researching them for quite a lot actually when I was recreating the Autochrome. And before they, they released the Autochrome in uh, 1903, they, um, they were very known for their dry plates, for black and white dry plates. And I believe this is the box from from original box from that area era because it says 1889. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see on the bottom of the box right here. I obviously can open it up right now, but I'm super excited to shut the door of the darkroom behind me and open this box. And it's quite heavy, so there are for sure plates inside. I don't know if this is the, the size of the, of the plates or not, but the box is quite big, so I think that's it. And they are 13 by 18 centimeters, which means they are not ordinary 4x5s, which I often shoot. And it means if I'm gonna try to, if I would like to try and shoot these plates, I will have to also build a custom film holder for it. But yeah, I mean, if I don't have access to things, I always love to make them, so it's, I think it's not going to be a problem. I'm really happy to tell you that also my Patreon community is slowly growing. There is more and more of you there. Um, and I'm really thankful for each and every bit of the support. I will try to, to do my best out of it. And um, in the last week I've also been printing out so-called thank you postcards for uh, you my Patreons. They're all handmade, custom made. They are my work, I also sign them off at the end. But the only problem I have right now is the, is the shipping. Because it either takes ages or um, I cannot even send you stuff. As an example, like the traffic with USA is like shut off for at least a week or so. I don't know why, I don't know when it's gonna open up, but um, I hope that uh, things normalize soon. Yeah, let's put this this guy aside for now. I'll put it on the left here. And now I'll open up the, the last box, the last package here. Oh, well, I'll just cut this one. This. Double wrapped. I mean, this guy has to be kidding me. What? I've been wanting this for so long, but I did, I just didn't have the money to, to afford it. What, you're, what you see here, it's a original autochrome box. I will show you here as well. This is really starting to, to become like the second Christmas for me. I mean, even better. Oh my god, I can feel the, the heat coming in my head. I think I'm gonna become like a lobster soon. I'm just holding like the whole Lumiere Brothers legacy in my hands here, almost. Seriously. 
You have to be kidding me. This is the first commercially available um, color photographic technique um, that was that actually went public in uh, 1903 and uh, it was very successful until 1930s but then Kodachrome came and um, autochromes were lost forever to be honest it's quite unfortunate in terms of autochromes there was so much knowledge lost um, and um, just in the last few years there, there has been a few of us trying to recreate the original autochrome which is crazy hard because the informations were lost, materials are different and um, yeah it's it's a very really complex technique because all the all the all the steps of the process have to be have to be executed perfectly in order for the colors to appear and as far as I can feel there are still plates inside this box as well I don't know how many oh yeah it says here it's there were only four four plates in the box I don't know if you can see let me focus you on this one here yeah it's only four four plates in a box sorry um, and they are also 13 by 18 so I'm for sure gonna have to design a custom custom film holder to, to shoot these plates you have to, to use a yellow filter and um, when developing you're actually not developing to negative but, but to direct positive which involves like a few more extra steps like uh, bleaching, re-exposing, redeveloping and so on but when the final image appears it's stunning let me tell you I mean I really after my I finished my diploma I actually put autochromes aside a bit because they're really really hard to make and really expensive but um, now with a few Patreon supporters and um, you guys buying my things, I, I might have the budget again to, to start uh, making them. Yeah, so we have the autochrome box, the dry plate box, and below here the, the two wooden film holders. The guy who sent me all this stuff really has to be an amazing guy, very friendly person. Um, and if you're watching this, I would really like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for sending me this. I cannot tell you how much this means to me. Um, I have your address on the package, I believe, and I'm for sure going to be sending you something in return. Just amazing. Still can't believe it, really. There you go guys, I just finished unboxing the mysterious package that I got with all the tiny packages that were on the inside. And I hope you're just as excited as I am to not just put these beautiful boxes on a shelf somewhere, but to open them up and uh, try to shoot some plays that are on the inside as well. If you'd like to see that video, make sure to subscribe to my channel up here. And if you're new to the channel, I invite you to watch my video from the last week. So yeah, I would like to thank everybody for watching and uh, see you next Wednesday. Bye!